And they basically said, look, there's no way in the wide world we need as much as you're budgeting for the next 10 years. And if you don't allocate the money to that, you can allocate it to other things. And spending less money alone will add eight years to the life of the Medicare trust fund. So instead of going broke in 2016, it will have money till 2024. That's a good thing. So they took the advice and they also used a fair chunk of the money to close the donut hole in the senior drug program, which saved the average senior $600. Then they used the rest of the money, as Governor Romney rightly says, to put into the health care plan so that insurance companies could afford to provide insurance to the millions and millions of families with pre-existing conditions. And if you don't subsidize it, they're not going to get the insurance because they would go broke, right? Okay, that's what they did. That is the highway robbery that Governor Romney claims they created. Saying, oh, 25% of the people are going to lose their Medicare Advantage coverage and all that. Now, this has already been done. That is, they have already started these savings, right? They're not cutting anything. They're just inflating the cost less. So we can already tell who's right. Because if this horrible thing has already taken hold, the insurance companies must be fleeing the Medicare Advantage program. <laughs> People must be virtually dropping in the street in Las Vegas and everywhere else, right? I mean, it's not like this thing isn't already happening. It's happening all around you. And he's saying, be very afraid. Now, here's what really happened. Here's what really happened since they put it in. More insurance companies than ever have asked to provide Medicare Advantage to seniors. They think they're getting plenty of profit out of this program. One. Two, there are 17% more seniors in this program that Governor Romney claims to be bailing out than there were last year. And three, the cost of being in it for the seniors has dropped 16% because of the savings that have been enacted and because people are being competed for. Not only has no disaster occurred, Medicare is stronger because of the changes that the president has made. These attacks on our Democrats are wrong. Now, what else are they going to do? They do, you heard Harry Reid said this, they want to repeal, Governor Romney does, the student loan reforms. Sort of like them, it got a lot in common with this Medicare thing. Here's what happened. President Obama and the Congress in 2009 adopted a long-term change in the way students borrow money to go to college. And it used to be for years and years that the government gave money to the banks in the form of guarantees. We would guarantee 90% of a bank loan that the banks made to the students. And then when I was president, we started offering the colleges the option of loaning the money directly and just setting aside a reserve in case the money didn't get repaid. And it turned out that the price of the loans went down and the default rate went down because once you made the loans cheaper, people could afford to repay them. And we started letting students pay it back as a fixed percentage of their income so nobody ever had to drop out of school just because they borrowed money. Now, so what the president did, because he knew we needed more people getting college degrees, because he knew the cost of college was killing people, because he knew we dropped from second in the world to 16th, and the percentage of our young people graduating from college, even though we're still almost first in the percentage that go, and obviously it's cause of the cost and people thinking they can never pay it back. Yeah. This is a big deal. It is. So what happened? When President Obama and the Congress adopted the so-called direct student loan program and allowed students to pay that money back at the low fixed percentage of their income for up to 20 years, they said, nobody